Hey, what's up? This is DJ Thunderous. I'm here with Matt Caustic from the awesome band Caustic Method. What's going on, Matt, since the last time we spoke? Oh, what's going on? Everything. Everything, Everything and anything. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything you, could, anything you could throw at me, I think I hit it. <laughs> All right. So for anyone that's new and listening and hasn't heard of Caustic Method, can you give us a history of the band and who the members are currently? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm Matt Caustic, um, lead vocalist. Uh, we got Derek Kotis on guitar. We got Eric Marasowski on bass, and we have Angel Rivera on drums. And uh, you know, we've been. The last record came out in 2015, but I, you know, I've been kind of. This was one continuous project. I've kind of been just working my songwriting, and now it's turned into like a, a badass band. This this new incarnation right now is just a monster. That's a awesome. monster. That's like awesome. we're all, uh, yeah, we're bringing our, ourselves to just spaces we haven't traveled. You know what I mean? Places we haven't gone musically, lyrically, message-wise, and it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's like when you do it for a while, it's like you're trying to always just find this little, little thing that just kind of makes it that extra, just little something. And in the writing, that's kind of what just happened on this new EP and what's going to come forward to the new album. It's 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 just a little different and a little deeper, a lot heavier and a little more melodic. So it's like going in in these places you kind of want to go, and you're always kind of like, ah, oh, we kind of can, but we kind of can't. We kind of can, we can't. Now we're just like no holds barred, whatever. The f- can I swear? I don't want to have. Oh fight. yeah, feel free. Uh, <laughs> you know, we can just do whatever we want. You know, do whatever you want. It's still art. It's still just art. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, you know, you start to have to feel like. You know, you have to push in different directions, and that's a direction you need to go. But you can't just be one-sided and, not, and then have different influences that don't come out and just, like, different vibes and areas you want to go into. You, you put up walls yourselves, and right now we're kind of like, you can do anything, whatever we want, whatever the song leads itself to be. That's what music is instead of, it's not heavy enough, that's too light, that's too brutal. You know, it's, there's no two. There's no two to it. It just is what it is, Right. Oh, it should yeah. be. <laughs> it should just be a snapshot of a thought of a, of you know, of something that's just a product of everybody contributing and 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 not you know, be thrown out. You know, some a lot of things would get thrown out and it shouldn't be. It should just be all accepted and and just worked on. It should always be worked on. If it's somebody's inspiration in a band context, you work on it. You just keep working on it. It's just, it's just turned into a different process, that's all. It's that's really, really pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, do you think your influences have changed with the upcoming music from, you know, when you release Virus? Um, the influences, as far as the sound of the band, I think the core and the, the what people, it'll, it, it still sounds like Caustic Method, but they're going to hear a lot more like intricate like arrangements, a lot more like speed, a lot more like deeper, heavier like vocals and and the message and the lyrics it's all just sort of like everything we wanted to do without any walls just showing up at the same time awesome can you let everyone know <laughs> <laughs> it is it's awesome i'm just so excited yeah, to hear this new ep when it comes out it's just, yeah it's just exciting it's exciting for us all it's just it's just fresh it's fresh to our own selves after doing it for so long to be fresh again it's just it's great it's just a good experience it's just art made for a real sake of it instead of having to worry about what people think. I guess you just hit this level of comfortability, just being yourself and just doing whatever you want. Real cool. Now, could you give everyone an explanation of the band name and where it came from? Well, for a bunch of years, we were just known as Caustic. And then because it's just a, it's a, either a, a, a biting, sarcastic attitude or something that will eat through your, fre- your flesh, basically a, a corrosive substance that will eat through flesh. So that was the original incarnation. And then... You know, we, I noticed there was a band out of Madison, Wisconsin with the same name. And when you start moving into a touring type of capacity and you start going up into Wisconsin, where they're from, it gets a little uncomfortable. Not, you know, not because we disliked each other or had any drama or anything. It was just like, look, we're both pushing the same name. And it was time for us to just find something different, you know, that kind of flipped ourselves up a little bit, which was cool. You know, refresh it a little bit. And Caustic Method is like a means of applying stress to something and to test capacities or something like a the next step of that kind of thing so it's cool it was the next step was good in meaning but also in just like sound it sounded cool to us too that's cool now when you released virus back in 2015 how long did it take for you guys to get you know to the release and what did it entail um i'd say the writing probably took a good year you know just at a, at a slower pace you know just you know stocking things down there was a couple that got mixed there was a couple we were going to work on we didn't get to um 
but we did you know the five song EP and then we moved on to we moved up to pavement entertainment to distribute um, and then you know at that point then it was like a full record release we did a tour you know I think um, this time the EP we're just gonna go straight into the album instead of try to do any tours or anything else with that and see where the the demo is gonna lead us because there's some bright spots to kind of look at to push this demo through to to try to just kind of get another step up which would be cool that's awesome so when you were guys were out on tour you know you were just speaking about your tour where did you guys play and you know what awesome bands did you guys get to play with like we played with um crossing rubicon we played with soil a lot we went out to obviously we went out to the whiskey and played with uh fear factory did a lot of great opening bands in the region you know the the main touring stuff up and through wisconsin uh illinois down to the city uh, did some New England stuff and then went a little bit south, you know, so it was it was an intensive year for For a bit, you know what I mean? But then, you know, we kind of had to go on the back burner for just a little bit in a difficult time All right. right after that record right at the end of that sales cycle. We just sort of had to step back for a minute That's cool. That right happens sometimes, of, you know. Yeah, yeah, because we were about to start a record at the beginning of last Last year, I think, what, last January? Yeah, might even be before that, like around St. Patrick's Day, we were like, okay, now it's time to just write. You know, and we started to stockpile some stuff, and then then we just went into a brief hiatus for a bit, and then we just came back, and now it's just been, you know, songs already, just we're waiting to get back in the studio with, so as soon as these three hit, boom, straight back in there and get another, you know, six under, get the... And, just keep keep doing sessions you know there's too much in the pile to just stop recording right now which is the right. best part you gotta have just, a... just as far as as far as touring goes you know what i mean yep. right now we're looking at it we're going for a record so we can support a record on a tour not an ep i think that's a wiser choice and use this this ep to kind of get our safe thank you to the fans for sticking around for the past year you know what i mean and, and get some new music out and then go focus on a record and then hopefully tour by summer that's the whole thing try to get everything together before then but you know it's just a lot of music on the table a lot of music on the table to figure out what we're doing next that's cool all right let's check it out everybody here's virus crank it up That was Virus. I know you know that we crank that all the time here on Metal Devastation Radio and the whole album. I mean, it's just seriously awesome. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. You guys have been around and <laughs> you feel like family to me. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You That's know what so I mean? cool of you to say that. And, and yeah. Virus actually has a meaning to it. I know it does. 
And then yeah, just... and to, to me it was like, um, it's, you know, it's loosely based, but in, in all of it's like music is a language that people gravitate to, then we're all speaking the same language and not too many people are talking shit. Everybody sort of exists together. It's it's just becomes more family, I guess. You know what I mean? We're not like a huge band where I mean, you get all these haters and all this other shit. It's just kind of like people like us. Those are family, and we just sort of expand from there. <laughs> it's not I'm looking for like mass appeal. It's kind of like a different thing. It's organically grown, I guess, is what I would say. And um, what genre do you think your um, band is? I, that's a difficult question because like we're just kind of like products of our own you know influences and i but i would to me i've always this is the vein i wanted to be in is the stuff you're gonna about to hear it's like in that more of a devil driver chimera machine head mm -hmm. realm with the sensibilities of the deftones and and sense of dynamics of deftones and and <laughs> that kind of vibe where you're not afraid to go and, and be more melodic you know on top of the brutal shit and, and i think music kind of wants a little more of that or needs a little more of that to kind of give it more dynamic. So all we're trying to do is just be a little more melodic and um, getting the message when it needs it. You know what I mean? But if yep. it needs to be slamming, then it's going to slam. <laughs> you know, just not having any walls again. You know, it's pretty cool. Just the instrumentations are more intense. Absolutely. You know, the compositions are more intense as well. What's it like to be on stage and being Caustic Method? <laughs> I look around. I know everybody. No matter where we go, it's like I, I've connected with a lot of people on a personal level you know what i mean and i i have to kind of do that because if they're responding to what i'm saying then it's like those are the people i want to know <laughs> so there's a there's a symbiotic relationship there i guess is what i would say and when i when i get up there and i just see people just that i've seen you know just show up over the years really because i've been doing this a while and and they're just kind of all like I was just saying organically grown, you know, they're not here under false pretenses because somebody said we were cool. They, they're here because they like what they heard. And we and would a lot be of there. It was yep. And we mm -hmm. would be there because we're hooked. I mean, you guys, first time we, <laughs> what are our favorite songs? Do you know? I know you know what they Bot are. Uh, virus and Bottle of Scotch, I'm saying know? probably Antihero. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. Bottle of Scotch, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, anyone, anyone that hears you for the first time, they either like you or they don't like you. And I think and that's, that's perfect, it, right? Yeah. That's exactly it. Yep, yep. Yep. There's no in between bullshit, and I'm down with that. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, because we might go heavy enough to appeal them for a minute, but then if we get melodic, then they might be like, "Oh, too heavy or whatever." But whatever. I don't know. It's more to, <laughs> more to me about the message. It's more about what we're saying. I don't really give a shit to be the heaviest thing on earth or the lightest thing on earth. I just we need to say things in the context of how we all speak together, and that's it. But like I'm saying, devil driver, <laughs> like heavy shit. You know what I mean? That, yeah. That's just not, you know, no carbon copy shit. Just real stuff that we could stand behind lyrically. That, you know, we're not just making imagery up that sounds cool. We're just trying to be real. <laughs> Talk about things we got to go through sometimes. And it's, yep. it's a little deeper. That's all. Yeah. Exactly. All right. We're going to check out a track here off the new EP slash album. Here's Souls Around Me. Crank it up.
All right, that was souls around me. I know you guys always have a theme for your music and, you know, your lyrics and things like that. And obviously there's a story to that. Yeah, thematically, like the virus, like you were just asking a little bit ago. Um, to me, the virus was the word of mouth, the word of mouth of how people do, like, say, hey, did you check this out? Because they think that that person might be able to dig it. You know, it's kind of like, you know, if somebody refers a band to me and says, oh, man, they know my tastes, they know what I like, and if they say that I should probably check it out, I'm going to go check it out. So we, I, th I hope we're that kind of band, you know what I mean? People either stand behind it and just sort of pass it along. It's all word of mouth, and the virus is that. You know what I mean? You caught the virus by hearing it and digging it, and if you pass it along, guess what? <laughs> now you're the virus. <laughs> yep. Not me. And then you get the souls <laughs> around me. <laughs> yeah, that's just um, an interpretation of like how we experience each other, mm -hmm. how, how we interact, what, what draws us to each other. Is it the music? Is it because we're supposed to know each other? Who knows what it is, but when you have all these souls around you, they're supposed to be there for a reason. And those bonds don't leave. They don't go anywhere. We, everybody's here for a reason. That's all it is. And the more we worry about why we're here, <laughs> the less we recognize who we're with. So it's a, it's a duality. So it's cool. And it's fun stuff to write about because it's a little, it's, it's just different. It's different. Nothing I would delve into before, but I'm delving into it now. And I believe what I'm saying. So <laughs> I'll stand behind it. I don't care. There you go. So what's a typical practice like with you guys? I mean, now that you have a new lineup and everything, do you guys all get together or how's that? Yeah, work? absolutely. We have our routine where we're there, where they're hitting, hitting the room on every, every time we're supposed to be there or we're in the studio when we're, you know, when we're in the studio, we're probably putting the week off for rehearsals just to get in the studio and then we'll hop back to rehearsals. Just what we have to do. So it's really intensive right now. <laughs> going from a, a, a long time off to kind of going right back to it. It's really awesome it's just like getting right back to it doing this you got this to do you gotta go do this photo shoot here well you know okay i haven't had that in my life in a long time so it's like right now i'm, I'm just digging it it's fun That's this is cool. what i you know what we do and you guys all get along so pretty good oh it's great yeah absolutely <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah no walls up you know what i mean everybody that we just try anything we fuck we just play just play that's what makes the writing cool it's just not worried about it why why do people worry about it Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, there's no, there's no reason to. It's just, it's just good time shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. So, you know, people, you know, music can be stressful. It can be a lot of work, et cetera, et cetera. But when it comes to making music, shit, just put everything aside. Just make some music, and it shouldn't. It should just flow, and it does, and it's cool, and it's right in that that heavy alley. You know, like just American metal. You know, you know the style I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, exactly. you know what I mean. Yeah, no frills, no bullshit. It just, just some maces, some you know, some amps humping it and just going. You know, and <laughs> should sound like it. It should sound like the open highway, right? Yeah, exactly. Get out there and play <laughs> in that traffic. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. To me, like a good song was always just sort of like a, a huge muscle car just sitting there and idle, <laughs> and then just kind of gassed up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's just cool. Yeah, it's good. Good paces. <laughs> See it bouncing up and down in the road saying, come get me. <laughs> yeah, because that's what get, gets the crowds moving. You know yep. what I mean? you got to feel what you're playing to get everybody else to feel it while they're standing in front of you staring at you. I know. So, so you do got to mean what you're saying. Yeah, all yep. of it. Music scene like where you are. I know you guys play local a lot because there's a lot going on there, isn't there? Yeah, Syracuse has always been a great scene. And now Ro Rochester's like, you know. The whole state is very well unified. All the bands are tight with each other, and it's just it's a good time around here. You know what I mean? It's good. Everybody writes quality shit, too. If you look up and down the highways, there's some great stuff going on. Great, good, good, powerful songs, too. So, like, I don't know. The music industry is a little bit different right now, and everybody's just kind of throwing their hands up in the air and just saying, let's just have some fun. Let's just have some fun and play some real rock and roll just <laughs> and just do it. Yep. You know? Everybody Whereas before, together. everybody was... Yeah, because I think bands for years were like all sketchy, like, well, shit, nobody's getting signed. You know, like, there's no, there's like, there's no crumbs on the table. Like, <laughs> no, just throw crumbs on the table and be on the table and have a good time and <laughs> bring some wine. Yep. You know, I think the, the competitive edge is kind of down now, you know what I mean? Which is cool. Everybody's just doing their thing. That's how it should be. No drama, no bullshit, and all the bands play with each other, and it's fun. It's just fun. That's good. I'm glad you're enjoying it, and I'm glad you guys are back in action. Um, you do have an upcoming show in February, is that right? Oh, yeah. Yep, absolutely. We'll be up at the uh, Montage Music Hall, a great place in Rochester, New York, with our good buddies, Poison the Prophet. So, absolutely. And uh, the EP should be out. Um, the EP should be out 
Um, probably like the week right before that too as well. Everything's kind of coinciding right on the same week. I believe it's February 18th, guys. Oh, February 18th. Okay, that's cool. I'm, oh. I'm pretty sure. You know me. I'm always a day ahead or a day behind. Or ah, that's late. okay, but you always respond. Right. <laughs> or two hours early. <laughs> the living room. Hey! Uh, so, yeah, that should be that should be absolutely awesome. Um, and then and then back in the studio. Once these three are done and out the door, we go play that show. And then right back in the studio probably and just keep keep champing towards a full record because there's some great songs i just can't i'm like <laughs> you don't want to throw these three ah, okay they're cool but the, you know the, the the next bunch that are coming up are just as cool as anything that i'm hearing right now so it's like just nothing but fun <laughs> we gotta go in the studio oh, that sucks yeah that's okay but you're <laughs> enjoying it yeah it's all everything it's just great it's just good to be back doing it and doing it for real good that's cool what do you think the future is for Caustic Method, and where would you like to go from here? I just want to keep making better music, always, always. Like I, I, all I see right now is just future, 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 future. But uh, writing, it's just writing for me. It all stems off that. I can go out there and sell bullshit songs all day, you know. But at the end of the day, it's, it comes down to just like really the writing as a band, as a band, a consistent writing, you know, not just, you know, a couple songs every two months, a couple here, a couple there. No, just a steady stream. I think that's that's the main thing is being prolific and, and all being on a level where you can just say what you need to say real quick, just like that, because it's just like you're, you're talking, you're talking. It's just, it's just easier mm -hmm. instead of having to like wait around to kind of write and sit around waiting for things to happen which is like no here's here's the next five you ready <laughs> okay cool and then there's the next four after that you cool yeah great it's just music it's being immersed in music you can't you can't ever stress it and wonder where it's going to go and where we're going to be just keep making good shit that's it <laughs> as long as it stays quality I'll, I'll i'll just keep writing songs and and doing what we do it's just awesome that's cool how many do you have written so far uh, there's probably at least a good dozen in the can. We're these three, and then at least a whole bunch more for just being back at it about six, seven months or something like that. There's just so much going on. It's so intensive. Like there's so many like different ways that we're writing, different patterns, and just you know things are more intense, more intricate. So it's kind of like it just it keeps dragging us and all all these cool directions that just show up into shells of really neat, more dynamic and more complex songs. So just keep piling them up every time we get together we're all kind of like just on the same page so awesome. when it happens it happens and it's cool it's very 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 uh, rewarding because you go home and the next day eric will send us the, the dropbox recordings of of the recorder in the room and it's like oh man whoa what was that yeah that <laughs> that, <laughs> that. <laughs> yep. and you're sitting there in your living room like ready to break shit just because you're listening to your own rehearsal tape so it's cool it's just i don't know to me that's just it, uh, it's just fun. Absolutely a good time. And Sounds like it's a good time the, for you right now to be doing this. Everything, man. We're all having a good time. And that's the thing it, that can get muddled up is taking it, you know, just so serious that you forget to make music. Yep. It should be the steady repertoire. It's not constant, constant music making. Always writing. I, I'm sure there can be tons of distractions in life or whatever, but there's always inspiration for life to keep making songs, no matter what. No matter what, even if they don't get used later, at least everybody's getting that common speaking thing where everybody's talking together. Amen to that. And I hear it. I hear the way like Eric and Angel feed off each other, and now Derek's counterpoint to it. They're all like, they just lock, you know what I mean? So we can go in any direction. It's like driving a, a car that works, you know what I mean? You can, mm -hmm. you can gas it and spin the ass end around and roll, you know, at 120 degrees straight this way and then stop on a dime. And then, okay, where do you want to go now? You know, there's no, there's no right or wrong. I guess that's the main thing. Awesome. All right, let's check yes. out your last track here, and everyone really needs to hear this because it's excellent. Here's Anti Hero. Crank it up.
All right, that was anti-hero. First time I heard that, I was uh, in love with that again, too. I have to say that. It's an excellent <laughs> tune. And there's a lot of feeling cool. in there. You can feel that. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I, yeah, I don't really, I kind of, I, I could say too much about what it's about, but it really, like, when you see your heroes fall apart, it's kind of like, what the fuck? But we glorify people that are just fucking the anti-hero. You know what I mean? The society today is not a, based around, you know, the Babe Ruths and the Ted Williamses and the, you know, the Roger Staubachs, the quarterbacks. You know, there was all, those were the heroes to the kids. You know what I mean? The mm -hmm. Supermans and the Batmans. And, and I don't know. I think today we're being sold the anti-heroes. We're always being sold the bad guys, you know. So that was just my kind of reaction to sort of that. Everybody was just always just talking on the wrong side of the coin some days. <laughs> so I hope I haven't revealed too much, but that's kind of just the only thing I could think of as far as my inspiration for that song. That's all right. And, you know, it's out there and it's excellent. We look forward to hearing all the other ones. I'm sure, you know, maybe we could air some after the interview. We'll see. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But, um, yep. Do you guys have any other new projects in the works? Like any videos going to be coming out or you're not yeah, on that line yeah. yet? Um, once the soul, once souls mix, we'll be starting the video for it. Once I get the final master of it, then I can run into the video production with it. So I'm just waiting on the tracks, and we're getting trying to get things scheduled up. Just yeah, we got to in this day and age, you got to have a video for everything, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just yeah, you don't have a video on YouTube. I didn't see it. It's sort of kind of it goes with the territory. If you're going to release music, there's got to be some video platform of it. So obviously, as soon as the masters hit, we'll we'll be running to do something like that. And do you guys plan on doing any live like live? videos on facebook or anything before the release you know with the band talking or anything or yeah we've been talking about well we're, we're, we're going to be doing a small like you'll see some like a lot of little video snippets of all the stuff that we're doing mm -hmm. kind of start to come you'll start seeing a lot of like these you know cool pieces popping out that'll kind of show our process right now which is cool that's the <laughs> on the instagram and the facebook caustic method you know how it is yep exactly well everyone should know caustic method by now i'm sure well, I think if if they have and they and they and they like what they hear, then I have to say thank you. That's the name. I know you guys have some pretty cool endorsements out there. Can you let everyone know what they are? I'm not endorsed by anybody, but the rest of my band, I don't even know anymore. I really don't know. That stuff changes on the daily, and I don't know who has what. <laughs> <I> just, <I laughs> you sing. have a lot. I know. I sing. <laughs> yeah, you sing. I know. Yeah, you're was, endorsed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, it's on our website, you know what I mean? Yep. I, I don't remember where the updated lists are and all that stuff. I know Spectre bases. I know, you know, um, I don't even, that's, I don't even know. I really don't. Don't you have like a virus whiskey or scotch out there? Uh, there was a beer that did a, a limited run. There was, yep. uh, no, that, no, that virus vodka out of Texas. That is not us. Oh, did okay. You see that? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I thought it was yours because I think our joke was back then you were going to send us a bottle of scotch. And yeah, we're still waiting. Yeah, no. The, <laughs> yeah, ah, I owe it to you still. And I will see when I see you. I'll just I'll have get it. In my hand. Um, but the, yeah, like I saw that virus vodka and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know how I saw it? It's through the hashtag. They said something like spread the virus or yeah. it was cool. I was like, and I even contacted them. I'm like, cool. I would have put a bottle of that in our video because it was right around the time we did our video that I found them. I thought it was kind of cool. They're out of Texas. So go oh. check them out. Butter's vodka is probably pretty good. <laughs> it probably is. I thought it was yours, actually. That's why I asked. I can't. I can't be endorsed by a vodka company. It wouldn't make much music. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be writing songs. I'd be <laughs> in the corner. Where are you? It's uh, the yeah. virus. <laughs> yeah, I got the virus. All right. <laughs> oh shit. All right. Is there anything Ooh. else you want to say to anyone out there? Anything else you'd like to discuss while we're here? Share music. Share music with the world. That's it. If you hear something of ours you like, share it to your friends. Be that be that guy that spreads the name of, of bands maybe like us that you dig or like anybody else that you've seen with us or on in your own towns. Just pass it forward. Word of mouth is way more important than what corporate bullshit tells you you should buy. That's all it is. Plain and simple right there. He said it, guys. That's Matt Caustic from the band Caustic Method. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys i love right. you guys you guys are awesome yes now right. if you could let everyone know your social media sites where the new ep could be purchased and actually i didn't ask you what the name of the new ep was going to be it's going to be entitled just off the single so we'll souls around me okay all right cool so everybody check out caustic method i'm sure you can reach them on facebook 
Are you on Instagram? On Instagram? Yep. Yep, absolutely. We're on the Spotify. We're on pretty much everywhere. You'll find us. <laughs> and also even on, on Google. Yep. Just say, just say, Alexa, Hostic Method. <laughs> then, <laughs> bloop, 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 and then you'll find us. Awesome. Sure. You should make a yeah, video we're... in the beginning and ha have your Alexa there. <laughs> and be like, have Alexa. the guys. <laughs> yeah. That would be really and cool. Then I'll spli and then I'll splice in, no results found. Yeah. <laughs> what you what? talking Alexa. about, asshole? <laughs> Buy Alexa! <laughs> <laughs> and smash it or something. That would be funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's work on that, all right? Come on, we can do this. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually, and I know you'll probably yeah, follow absolutely. through with it. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, find caustic method. What the fuck are you talking about, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> no results, phone. Oh, man. All right. Well, you guys have a great rest all of the right. day. And thank you always for everything. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Always. Can you do a shout out for all the right. radio station, please? Absolutely. All right. Hey, this is Matt Caustic from Caustic Method. You're listening to the Thunderhead Show on the Metal Devon Station Radio dot com. Where metal reigns supreme. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>